In December of 2015, representatives from 176 states gathered in Paris to discuss aggressive new measures to combat climate change. The objective is ambitious, to reduce carbon emissions in order to prevent global temperatures from rising more than one and a half degrees above pre-industrial levels. But the COP21 documents do not simply pertain to the environment. Rather, they are also diffuse with concerns regarding the future of international relations and global social politics. Appeals for greater trust, transparency, and international cooperation punctuate the call for increased environmental responsibility, suggesting that the path to sustainability necessarily includes widespread social reform. The Paris Climate Talks mark the latest in a slew of global conversations that are concerned with the interdependence of environmental health and issues of economics, education, medicine, and gender and racial equality. In short, it is the relationship between environmental health and human social politics. As authors of dystopian fiction in the latter half of the 20th century have observed, the human exploitation of natural resources has produced more than a global ecological health crisis. It has also laid the groundwork for a high-stakes social experiment, in which our ability to survive as a species would be contingent on our ability to adapt socially, to relate to one another emotionally and intellectually. In short, to empathize. Forty years ago, Michel Foucault and other theorists spoke both tacitly and explicitly of the difficulties they anticipated would arise as links between environment and government became both more apparent and more tenuous. In his lectures on governmentality and biopolitics, Foucault underscores his prediction that, of all the pillars of our dominant socio-political systems, our society's attitude towards the individual would prove to be the most problematic in the face of an environmental crisis. This attitude may be summarized as the claim that modern governments simultaneously emphasize the rights of the individual and obliterate identity. The neoliberal principles that now underlie pol political parties of global influence suggest a profound dilemma, a simultaneous apprehension towards government control and an inability to self-regulate, such that a threat to natural resources becomes a threat both to the state and the individual. Authors concerned with environmental dystopia have taken note. Literature that predicts ecological disaster and governmental collapse often draws on questions of personhood, identity, and agency. The goal of this thesis project is to draw out the questions that intersecting issues of climate change and social politics in contemporary dystopian literature together pose about the role of nature of human autonomy in the context of Foucault's theory of governmentality. 